Today I want to talk to you about the Nolan Principles. The Committee for Standards in Public Life, chaired by Lord Nolan and instigated by John Major, came up with these seven principles that I think are important for every non-executive director to understand and be able to apply. So I'm going to start by giving you a little exercise to help me in helping you to remember them. It's a simple thing. All I want you to do is say, oh Lisa. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh Lisa. Or you could say, ooh Lisa. Have you done it yet? Excellent. Well, oh Lisa is an acronym or an aid to memory. The O, the O, the H, the L, the I, the S and the A. Oh Lisa. Just do that with me. O, O, H, L, I, S, A. You see, the first O is for openness, and the second O is for objectivity. And then the H is for honesty, the L for leadership, I for integrity, S for selflessness, and A for accountability. So there we have it, but let's see if you can remember it. What was the first O for? Yes, openness. The second? Good. Objectivity. And then the H, honesty. The A at the very end, yes I tried you, accountability. And then what have we missed out? The L, yes, leadership. And then two more, I for integrity and S for selflessness. So there you have it, seven principles of Lord Nolan's committee the Committee for Standards in Public Life, that every board member, every non-executive, should be aware of and able to practically apply. We've just covered how to remember the Nolan Principles. It would be very important for us to understand how to apply them. So objectivity, first of all. We've got to remain objective as board members. We've got to remember that our role is a fiduciary duty to the company, to promote the success of the company. And by being independent, we can be objective and make decisions based on merit. We've got to be open and transparent in our decision making, in our reporting, to enable stakeholders to understand what we're doing and also the reasons for the decisions that we've made. Honesty was another key principle and we display this by declaring interests in proposed transactions. We ensure that we have integrity by staying independent of the organisation that we're working with. It helps us to be objective. O, O, H. The L was for leadership. We've got to make sure that we're effective leaders. We're always understanding how we're going to bring that capacity into the boardroom and into constructively challenging the executive and helping to develop proposals on strategy. The I is for integrity. And integrity is a key value in any discipline and in any organisation. We've got to be trustworthy and declare conflict of interest and ensure that those conflicts don't impact our decision making when they do arise by sometimes staying out of the decision making process. And then the S was for selflessness. As I mentioned earlier, your role is to promote the success of the company and not personal objectives. We do have that agency challenge where the executive team have got one set of objectives sometimes and the company has another. And your role is to ensure that at all times you're selfless. And finally, you've got to be accountable. Accountable for those decisions you made. Accountable for your role as a non-executive. Accountable as a non-executive board member in a thriving organisation. <laughs>